let's go into a little trance. And what I would like for you to do is to sit, uh, push your chairs back so that you have the ability to lift your hands without them being underneath the table. And what I want you to do, putting your hands flat on your lap, is I want you to close your eyes. I want you to focus your mind, your attention. You can focus your attention on that right hand. And some of you might know this one. This might be brand new for you. Either way, your learning happens as you rest. And the rest, your unconscious will continue processing. As you focus on that right hand, paying attention to the small and subtle things, you can pay attention. As you begin, very slowly, one fraction of a fraction of an inch at a time, lifting that hand, each subtle move, Shifting and changing, you can begin to notice how the subtle little changes you can pay attention to. How each subtle move changes things. Focusing on that right hand consciously, very consciously, while your unconscious begins going through those files. All you have to do is focus on that right hand lifting. That's right, I mean consciously lifting that hand one fraction of a fraction of an inch at a time. Physically, that's right, lifting that hand. Consciously. Good. Paying attention to that hand lifting while your unconscious begins going through those files finding moments of confidence. You've been developing your whole lives. All different kinds of confidence. It's the confidence when you do something well, the confidence when you know your side of the argument is the right side, and there's confidence that goes so much deeper. Consciously, you're just paying attention to lifting that hand, that's right, physically lifting that hand even more, noticing how each subtle move changes things. You'll be paying attention to those subtle things changing your mind. While your unconscious continues going through those files, blending that confidence with the confidence that goes much deeper, the confidence that when you wake up in the morning and you get out of bed, your feet will touch a floor, you can be confident in that without ever having to think about it or question it. It's just deep inside your unconscious. Learning happens on many levels. You can begin shifting and changing. Focusing on that hand lifting, that's right, even more. As your unconscious begins gathering that confidence, that's right. And all the things you can hear, you can hear confidence everywhere. Inside, outside, paying attention to what you need to pay attention to. Learning happens. And now as you begin lowering that hand, that's right, even more slowly allowing your unconscious to connect that confidence to where you need it the most. Your learning happens as you rest. As that hand makes its way down, you're learning even more how to relax into that confidence inside. You don't even have to think about, it's just there. And your unconscious connecting it to where you need it to maybe the places and spaces you hadn't even been considering. You'll just find yourself feeling more comfortable inside that confidence growing. You'll just find yourself becoming even more aware of how those subtle, small changes happen as you continue allowing that confidence to sink a little deeper inside, settling in, paying attention, getting 
curious as to where that confidence will show up. You just might find yourself getting even more comfortable inside who you are, becoming even more confident inside. And when you're ready, that's okay, I'll come to you. And when you're ready, relaxing and smiling. That's right, smiling even more. And you'll feel yourself wanting to stretch your mind, your body, your ideas. That's right, taking a moment, smiling. Okay, good, good stuff. I like that trance. It's really good for just about anybody. When someone gets into your chair and all you're asking them to do is just focus on that hand. Now for many people, you're gonna keep hitting a message. Right for you, it was paying attention to those subtle changes because as the teacher up here for these three days, these are the things I want you to pay attention to, becoming more aware of how the subtle changes can shift things. These are the messages, but with each client, you're going to be hitting the specific message for them. But really, all they have to do is begin lifting that hand. And then you can just say, as your unconscious begins generating insights, you know, generating creative solutions. And you just kind of allow that to happen, sometimes just using it as a really nice induction where you're focusing on that hand lifting one fraction of a fraction of an inch at a time. Now, what does that do, everybody? Look at me. If my hand is doing this, then I'm mimicking the way the unconscious would be lifting that hand if I was doing a standard hand levitation. This little jerky movement. So what happens is it also becomes um, a leverage induction, right? An induction, a leverage induction just uses a hypnotic phenomenon to induce hypnosis, something that is, you know, basically something that would happen in trance, right? When you close your eyes and you do that, you know, op try to open your eyes and they're stuck, that's a leverage point. It really has nothing to do with hypnosis, but it puts a wedge in, right? Because it's weird when you go to open your eyes and you don't. So it also adds that. It, 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 it allows the person to just do this. You don't even have to say, we're going into hypnosis now. It's like we're going to do a little exercise for unconscious resourcing. So close your eyes and focus on that hand, right? Now it's also a great gauge because how many of you at a certain point lost track of where that hand was in space? Yeah, I know, I saw. Right? So that people just, it, it, it creates this really, you could just say as your unconscious goes through those files, finding every moment of letting go. And so that you can keep coming around to hit that message. How there's all kinds of letting go. You've been letting go of things your whole life. Many different ways letting go. And so you can really just be flexible and, and playful with this one. You can also use it to set up what I was just doing earlier, which is conscious-unconscious dissociation. Consciously, you're just focusing on that hand while you're unconscious. Got it? Continues going through those files. So we can play, and that's the first induction we're going to play with today. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to get together. You're going to do this simply. Have them close their eyes, focusing on that hand. Lifting one fraction of a fraction of an inch. First time I did this in Europe. I was in the middle of the trance. And I'm like lifting one fraction of a fraction. And as it's coming out of my mouth, the, the realization that they don't use inches. So I said, one fraction of a fraction of a milliliter. <laughs> and as it came out of my mouth, it was one of those moments, just like, don't! So I was like, 
Yes, fluidly, <laughs> learning, <laughs> lifting. <laughs> And I see so many people just smiling, you know, like, oh boy, what a recovery. Sorry, I needed to dose you a little bit in uh, some dopamine before you practice this one. All right? So basically, you're going to get together. Know that this is so flexible. And for now, it's just focusing, lifting that hand. Now, sometimes you're going to get somebody, like a couple of you guys, that actually weren't lifting. So with your client, you're going to nudge it paying attention to these subtle things, right? And while your unconscious begins generating some insights. For you, what I'd like for you to suggest is to do part of my job for me, which is as your unconscious begins going through those files of every time you've been learning, curious, paying attention, those moments where things are starting to open up possibilities or some shit like that. It's all made up. You do know that. You've heard me say that before. This shit is really all made up. So I'd like you to practice that induction because it's when you practice it, you embody it, and you will start to make it your own. OK? Any questions? All right. So good work, everybody. Um, as I said, that, that induction is, is really flexible. You could be as creative um, as, you, as you can be with that. Whether it's just using it to have a nice, deep, relaxing trance, whether it's using it as a process in itself. You see, sometimes just um, focusing on that hand while your unconscious begins generating insights, creative solutions. And then you just allow a 10-minute, you know, kind of very inward searching trance to happen. And they come out and they're like, wow. You know, I, I, I step back from the very literal uh, direction. And all I keep saying is consciously you're just paying attention to that hand lifting. You see, at a certain point, I start with, you know, doing language. Right? I start with your, you can lift that hand. And then very quickly, I shift to noticing that hand lifting. You see the difference? You go from doing to having. From a doing experience to a having. Make sense? So, um, so then I just start to kind of get flexible with it. But as I said, this shit is all made up, right? And so you can play with all different ways of doing it. There really is no right and wrong way here. This is just one way to um, keep the conscious mind occupied. Keeping the pressure off. You know, with the, the old standard hand levitation, there was a lot of pressure because you're saying that hand's going to start lifting. And then if it doesn't, you just have to keep at it. And you know, there's that, most people don't use it. How many people here use the old fashioned hand levitation? It takes too damn, that's right, nobody. OK. <laughs> I used to, good Lord, when I started. I can remember, you know, I would, I would study Erickson, and everyone had their hand up. So God, whatever it took. I was going to keep at it. How boring is that? Anyway, this kind of cuts right through it. And you also get that nice play of start by doing and then having an experience. So most people will, the feedback is, you know, they weren't really lifting that hand at a certain point, or they didn't know where their hand was, or they didn't know if it was ever going to touch down ever again in their life. OK, so, you know, open it up to a lot of different possibilities. The reason why we started with trance is because I needed to lay certain foundations for you as people learning this stuff. I needed the confidence. I needed the learning set. Typically, this trance would be after I've already done a bit more work. And so it would be a transition to the trance chair. So I'm going to be going through how I mark out certain things so that the expectation is high and it's over there, so that the defenses are down over here where the real changes are happening, you see. 
So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through all that. So, you know, the key component, as I said, was, you know, to start with the, you know, doing, right? Lifting that hand consciously and then switch your languaging to continuing to notice that hand lifting even more consciously, focusing on that hand lifting. And it turns, you know, into a having experience. Yes? So your unconscious mind, you can, their, their unconscious mind, clients, you can have them working on whatever problem they want. That's right. Go through the file. That's right. You're working on this. You look at the file for this problem. Well, so you can, of course. You can do any of that. You can do um, specific changes as your unconscious, you know, goes through those files, finding the necessary learning from this issue, right? Or finding the positive intention underneath that habit you'd been having. Or find, you, can, you can use it for any one of those. You can use it for process instruction, a set of instructions without particular content, right? So as the unconscious goes through those files, updating what needs updating, upgrading those things that are ready, and deleting the old programs that don't fit you anymore. You can do things like that, and it becomes its own little process. So it's really a flexible one. But the main reason I did it up front is because I needed you all to have certain things in place so it's easier for you to remember what you need to remember. And your learning happens on a few different levels now. Got it? That's right.